Hello everybody, today I want to tell you about working of diaphragm pressure gauge. Now you know, how a diaphragm pressure gauge works. When the measured media exerts a force on the diaphragm. A metal push rod welded to the top of the diaphragm transmits the deflection of the diaphragm to the movement. The movement, in turn, translates the lateral motion of the push rod into a rotational motion for the pointer on the dial. Diaphragm gauge provides an option for the traditional system filled gauge system seal assembly. The diaphragm gauge is a mechanical alternative to a fluid actuated system, diaphragm seal. A diaphragm gauge is created by using a pressure or vacuum gauge and mechanically attaching a stainless steel rod from the gauge movement to a diaphragm. The stainless steel rod is attached to an upper housing, making it a one-piece unit. To complete the diaphragm gauge assembly, a lower housing is bolted to the upper housing, making it a compact unit. Blowout protection prevents release of any process material out the case front or face. The diaphragm gauge is built to withstand the corrosive, highly viscous, and crystallizing media, gaseous or liquid, typical of the process industry. It is especially well suited for applications in the chemical, petrochemical, pulp, and paper, and food processing industries, as well as in water and sewage treatment plants and electric power plants. The advantages of the diaphragm gauge over separate components include a reduced sensitivity to shock and vibration, and a more compact design. And since the diaphragm gauge does not use a fluid actuated system, the effects of temperature are reduced, it is easy to service, and it delivers exceptional accuracy in low pressure and vacuum applications. In situations where pulsating pressure or vibration are severe, filling with glycerin, silicone, or halocarbon is recommended. For highly viscous or crystallizing fluids, the diaphragm gauge can be fitted with an open connection flange. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.